Hey guys, so today I'm doing something a little bit different and I wanted to show you my very first bullet journal. I just really wanted to try it out and so I used this thin journal that I don't even know where it's from actually. Um, yeah, just this notebook, only 80 pages. So I was like, great, let's try it out. Let's see if I like this whole bullet journaling thing. So I started out, I have my color code, a little key here, a reminder to myself that it doesn't have to be perfect. That's kind of tough for me, an index, and I also kind of color coded my index, you can see here. Um, and then the months have like, you know, this little funky thing. I tried out this future log, I didn't really like it, I felt like I didn't have enough space. And then here, I started this in April and it was like the end of my semester, so this was some planning for all of my finals. It was super helpful, definitely going to do that again. Took a lot of pages, but it was worth it. I was in a lot of classes that semester. Okay, this is what I did for my 2017 goals. Um, I saw this somewhere to make it like a pie chart. I always want to say like a pizza. <laughs> um, and I really liked that, so I split it up into like each section of my life. And this is not super filled in because it was only April and I'm, you know, wasn't there yet. This is April. I have my events and appointments. Um, something I was really excited about, my focus. One of my goals is to race every month, so I have something about that in my monthlies. Things I'm currently doing, and then some things to do. Here I have spring blogging and some work stuff. This was um, half marathon training. Didn't end up running the half marathon. As you can see, I had a lot of days off because I was sick for a little bit spring cleaning and um, just journaling for one day. This is my first weekly that I did. I didn't really like it. There was a lot going on and I realized during this day that I don't like the ruled pages. That's just my thing. I don't know. Um, section for homework this week like at a glance. Um, I was writing about dinner and my workout. This page is just really cluttered, but you know, that's what happens sometimes. I just had a mind and body check-in page, um, some planning ahead, and right here, just some journaling. Um, this was another weekly I tried out. Here I have dinner, my exercise. You can see I was sick and or lazy. Um, homework, other stuff to do. Um, I wanted to do an April review here and I really just didn't end up getting to it, but you know what? It's okay. I had two of these journals and for some reason had ripped out some pages, so I taped it in here. And then here is each day. Had a lot going on this week, as you can see. Um, I like this because I can just write notes for classes and whatever. Here was some running inspiration some teaching notes from classes and stuff, some books to read and buy, um, some more class notes, websites, just journaling from one day. Here were some um, care sheets for our pets. I didn't really end up finishing them. Um, I was only in this journal for a couple of weeks because I went pretty hard. Setting up for May. I don't know how much I liked this in like a regular calendar format. I just wanted to do a lot of coloring. And I also had this um, habit tracker. And then, like I said here, not sure I dig monthly trackers as I pretty much stopped doing it really, really quickly into the month. Just some goals and some blog notes, some to-dos. This month I did like what I'm currently doing. So that was kind of fun. I'm liking that. Um, my race of the month. Oh, just some more journaling when it was not my day. Had a bad day. 
Um, oh, here's some more notes from class. It's super messy, but that's the thing. It doesn't have to be perfect as long as I can read it and know what I'm talking about. Um, some spending, wish list. I got this really cute bag from Lush and I decided to like just paste the stickers, or not stickers, but cut them out and paste them all over. Um, this was the start of a week. This is my week at a glance. It got really messed up, <laughs> um, but that's okay. And then here I started experimenting with just these time trackers and I really liked that. It's not something I necessarily would do every day. Um, they're fun. See, there's different ways that you can do it and I can write down like what I was up to. Here I was writing about my sleep, my workout, and some days I was writing different things about like what I was eating. This was a cool one. Um, if you have just one day for a page, I really liked that. I was like starting to get to the end of the notebook and I was trying to fill up pages. So like just for the weekend. This was a week. Um, I did not like this layout. It got super messy super quick, but I started using this sleep tracker that I decided I'm obsessed with and you're gonna see that a lot coming up. Here was another week. I loved this quote. These mountains that you are carrying, you are only supposed to climb. You can see this again. And as you can see here, I have about my fitness for the week, my dinner. Um, here's my week at a glance. I really like having that and then having like another section for the day if I can. But this this week, I mean, I this year, <laughs> this week I got something a little different and I did like different sections. Um, that was okay. I think that actually worked pretty well. And then here's just a brain dump. Like some days it can be totally organized and some pages look like this and that's totally okay because it's my journal. It's all the things that are going on inside of my head. Um, here's another version of a time tracker. That one was pretty cool too. I'd probably use that again. Here was when I was first kind of planning out what my summer looked like for courses. Um, some more dailies. Here's another time tracker. I, I like these actually. I think I like the ones better where I don't color them in because that seems like a lot of work sometimes. Um, so I'll probably do that some more. Um, some days I do like priorities. Just some washi tape. I was trying to do dailies here because I was just really excited. I was about to finish my journal. Here's some journaling because I went to see a concert, the wind and the waves, so that you see a lot of waves. I have like a million pages about that. I just cut this out of a magazine, ripped it, whatever. Um, again, trying to fill up the end of this journal, so I had just Sunday here, some notes and things to do, and a whole page for meal prep. So that was actually really convenient. I might start doing that more often. And then here I knew I was moving into a new bullet journal. So I just had some ideas of some collections to add. Um, this got really messy really quick, but that's okay. And here I have my little pen loop that I made out of just some washi tape. And it has, you know, stood the test of time. And um, since this is my first bullet journal, I really just wanted to give a couple tips from what I learned from it. And I think number one, just have fun. It's not gonna be perfect. It might not be something that you wanna share with everybody and that's totally okay. I wouldn't really love if you read every single word, but you know, it is what it is. Um, the whole point is to help you be productive. So if you are spending way too much time doodling or playing around with it, then you know maybe it's not helping you be productive. Like you just have to find what works for you. Um, I really use it as a way to be reflective and keep up with my self-care. I can write down what I'm doing, track it, I can really just do some journaling when I need to it can be it can be anything for me so that's 
that's what I really like. It's just all my thoughts, everything in my head is here on paper. And another thing is you can use anything. You don't need fancy supplies. I have realized now that I prefer the dot grid because I can write a little bit smaller. I can fit more on one page or on a two page spread. But really you can use any sort of journal for this bullet journaling business. Um, and if you wanna learn more about bullet journaling, I totally recommend that you check out, um, there'll be some posts up on my blog, but also that you just check out bulletjournal.com. Um, writer Carol is the one who basically coined the term in this whole um, bullet journal madness, I guess. I, but I totally get why everybody's obsessed with it. It has really helped me to be more productive and reflective in my everyday life. So I would totally recommend it. And I will link below um, his website so you can check that out some more. So I hope you enjoyed my bullet journal flip through and I'll have another one for you soon because I'm halfway through my second journal at this point, which is pretty crazy. All right, so thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and check out thewanderous.net. Bye guys.